guys. Welcome to Annex Gamecast Level 103. I'm Mumbai San and I'm here with Genesis and Terrence, aka Grumpy Bear. How's it going, guys? Doing good. Doing good. good. She she forgot my name. I know. I know. I'm like, who it's, am I with? It's only episode 103, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I've been on every episode. So. You know, sometimes you just forget those like the most obvious words. I don't know what to say. Yeah. Well. All right. Anyway, what are you guys excited to talk about today? Terrence. My hero the movie. Your hero the movie. Uh, I think I'm ready to get into our second round. We got a got a conversation to get into round two. So. I think I'm ready to do that. What about you? Uh, I guess I would say the movie, my the hero. Movie. All right. So we got some big news, though. Terrence, you see that thing in front of you? Yeah, I do. You see some lights on around it? Yeah, I do. That kind of means that it's working. What about you? Yeah. Is, yeah. Mine's it's working. Something in front. It's very it? different. I'm not used to seeing this. Okay. Well, we got the cameras rolling. It's our very first podcast to be released. On a version TV on YouTube. Whoop whoop. So What's usually that? I come on here and I promote all this other stuff. All and this, make promises. Yeah, yeah. I've been thinking. I think I've been promising this for like a while. <laughs> ah, maybe a week or so. Uh huh. It ain't been that long. Uh huh. Um, but anyway, I come on here and I <coughs> promise a bunch of stuff, but I also promote a bunch of stuff. All that stuff is still there. Facebook, you know, all that stuff is there for Annex Gamecast. But f- today and going forward, I need everybody to do us a favor. I need everybody to go out to YouTube, search for Aversion TV, and I need you to follow and subscribe um, and hit the notification button, Bell. I'm not used to saying all that. I'm yeah. not a YouTuber. I'm oh. a podcaster. But again, all of our normal, wherever you're listening to, you know, wherever you're listening to us at right now, we're still, we'll still be there. Right. We'll still be on Spotify. We'll still be on SoundCloud. SoundCloud, where, wherever you're currently listening. However, we prefer that you go check out the YouTube page. I'm trying to get everybody into one central hub so we can keep this thing moving forward. So anyway, y'all excited about YouTube? Yeah. Y'all about to be official YouTubers. This has been a long time coming. Long time coming. Yeah, these cameras been sitting here. They just, I got a little dust on the top. I had to clean mine off. Well, but anyway, y'all ready to get into it? Oh yeah, we Let's do it. Always. All right. Well, let's go ahead and jump into, uh uh-oh. Round one. Big Tana's still here. (laughs) And let's talk about the anime that we're currently watching. Terrence. What you got? Um, so caught this anime. It's called No Guns Life. And this first season is already out, so I did a binge watch. Basically, it's about the main character is called Juno. Juno. Um, and Juno has a gun on his head. So like attached? Yeah. Like he was barrel born? of a gun for head. Okay. But like on top of his head or his head is a gun. His head is a gun. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so basically the premise is he has um, this is cybernetic uh, time. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of cybernetic arms, um, arms, legs, um, heads. Um, It's actually pretty good. It's it's, it's got like the whole uh, what movie was that? Oh, Harrison Ford. Uh, I'm gonna get you soccer. Lo- Indiana Jones. Load Runner. Was it Load? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. So I think it's Load Runner. Um, um, something Star like Wars? Mm-mm. 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 This one was one. Uh, basically, the city is based upon uh, androids. And, okay. Or the sentient beings. Well, this one is a little different because they they don't know everything. They don't have the. Like, he has a fog for memory. But it's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. And when he does fire, like he finds, so basically he doesn't get attached to anybody because when he does fire, he needs somebody to fire the gun. But when he does fire the gun, it is so powerful it can pierce the clouds. Wow. So it's it's actually been pretty good. Um, I think I had, it's 12 episodes. Um, and it's actually pretty good. He has to smoke these cigarettes. Newports. Smoke, smoking is bad. But um, they explain kind of why like this, it keeps him, it keeps him in check because the pain of having, you know, a gun and all of the cybernetics attached can get the best of him. And when, if he loses control, um, he can be beast. He can be beast. So he's like half human, half machine. Yeah. Okay. And a lot of them are. Yeah. So, so I actually, believe it or not, I have the manga. I have the first the first volume of the manga that came mm, out. Okay. I just happened to be at um bookstore 
and it was there and they were having to sell for whatever publisher puts out their books. So I was like, okay, it's already twelve dollars, fifteen dollars or whatever. I had like a twenty percent off plus it was an additional twenty percent off or whatever. So I was like, okay, I don't know what this is, but cool. And I posted it on our Instagram at ANX Gamecast. Does anybody know what this is? And it was like crickets. This was probably six, seven months ago. This was a long mm, time ago. Okay. So no one really responded. No one I don't think any anybody knew who, what it was, but looks like um is it dubbed? Never. It's English. Hey. Oh, it's English. And she's in English. She's on uh it's on, oh. I watched the series on Funimation, which I normally don't do. Yeah. But um I was somewhere and they had like a what's the spring I mean the the winter of 2020 what's what's new mm-hmm. and so I was like oh, okay this would be something to peep out something a little different oh. and I peeped it out decent decent I guess with Ghost in the Shell and all of these other ones similar to it mm-hmm. I just kind of was like okay okay so 12 episodes and I don't I don't know if they're going to continue because the way it ended was really weird it wasn't like a season finale it was just like a, a random episode all right. Well, speaking of random episodes. Sorry, I keep yawning. <laughs> what? What happened? You're tired? I'm just like more aware that I'm yawning now. I'm like, oh my gosh. You're always over there yawning. I know. We usually just edit it out, but here, no. Not on YouTube. Sorry. Um, My Hero. So we started <clears> watching <throat> some more My Hero to get ready for the My Hero Academia movie that came out that we'll be reviewing you know, later on the show. What do you think about My Hero now that you've watched some attack on titan you've watched goblin slayer you watched demon slayer obviously you saw a lot of dragon ball super what do you think of my hero now that you've gone back to start watching it again you know i can't get into my hero i'm having trouble it's like i when i first start watching every episode i'm like i like this it's cute i like the graphic style um but like halfway through, I always just am kind of like, uh, I don't know. I just don't, I just don't like it that much. It's just not that interesting to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, now we watched a couple of episodes where one, he got that like internship or right. whatever you want to call it. So mm-hmm. we're, okay. What's his name? Wide Eye? Night Eye? Night Eye. Okay, Night so eye. you are closer. I thought, cause you know, this is the second one. Cause you know, he had the one with Gran Torino. Mm-hmm. Right. So yeah. This is the second. One. Yeah, I saw all that. So this is the second, the second intern. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. And see, I'm starting a little bit later, but I tried to watch it with you when you started season one, mm-hmm. and I didn't like it. Right. I just couldn't get into the story. So, but I want to like it. There's something about it. Like I really want to like this show. It seems like something you would like because it's corny as I, I know what. I, I. But I just don't. I don't know. It's, it's almost like it's so corny. It's like a spoof on being corny. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's 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 spoofing being corny. Like, I don't feel like it's a natural corny. I feel like they've gone out of their way to make this show as corny as it can possibly be. I think I just like um, anime that's more serious. Yeah. I mean, I, I definitely, you know. Um, Which is weird because this does seem like something I would like, though, just in general. Yeah. About me. Yeah. It seems like something you would like. So, I mean... We already know Terrence loves this yeah, show. Yeah, we know Terrence <laughs> likes <laughs> my hero. So I mean, we're trying. We're giving it. We're giving it a go. We're trying to keep. You know, keeping it. Keeping it. Try, it. So, trying. I'm trying, bro. So here's the thing. I mean, it has its moments. It does. It has its moments. But I it's think so that. Uh, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I, I, I think that when I do watch it, the battles are intense. So when they actually are fighting, the battles are intense. But there is a lot of fan service. Yeah. And if you are someone who doesn't really care for fan service, because most of the anime we watch does not have a lot of fan service. I wouldn't say this has a lot of fan service. It has though. a lot of fan service. It really doesn't. So I guess that. There has more. Cry- Let me put it this way. There's more crying in this anime than fan service. That is a fact. <laughs> um, It depends on. Uh, it depends because I. There's a. Uh, it depends on the arc. Because in this arc that you currently at, 
um, once he gets past a certain point, there's no more crying. Yeah, he hasn't been crying much in the two these two upper yeah. few but they, few but episodes. They, but they still show him crying a lot from even if it's just a flashback. Right. Like every episode, they're gonna give you some crying, Midori, regardless but, if he's crying today or not. I mean, Deku cry. I mean, Deku has he's a very emotional person. But and it's what's funny is they all are very emotional because even Baku is emotional. It's just in a different way. He's like the opposite end he's like angry all the time and Deku's like I'm sad or happy mm-hmm. I mean so they're, they're two different ends of the spectrum but they're even the other the the side characters um, are very emotional so the show itself deals with a lot of emotions um, I won't say they're good or bad but there are a lot of emotions and sometimes when you watch anime that's not what you want to see yeah but when they fight or when they when they have a villain that they're fighting they they do they the battles are pretty pretty good and on top of that what i've learned is and if you ever want to have a villain who's coming in they usually do a pretty good backstory on the villain yeah i mean i I feel like generally speaking i like the villains more in my hero than the actual heroes i think my main problem with this anime is i dislike the main character period now don't get me wrong i don't like goku in dragon ball i do not However, what's the running joke with Goku and Dragon Ball Z? He's always showing up late. So know. for half the episodes, he's not even there. Or right. he's dead. Or hey he's guys. gone. And someone else has to, you know, raise his son. Hey, you know, Piccolo. Yeah. So so he's not there all the time. Midori is there all the time. Like, I'm tired. I can't. I don't want to see him anymore. So that's kind of. I think that's my. If If he. He has to do like a whole 180 for me to kind of stay invested in this. Like he, he's going to have to really, really, really change his um, mannerisms, his attitude, his whatever. Well, if you remember, like I think first episode, it kind of it kind of just went into the story. This is how I became a hero. Right. So he's going to be pretty much in everything, everything. Now, to a level, that's a little different. But because based upon the movie. Um, but he's the thinker of the group and and I think a lot of times because we don't like him we don't see how he plans stuff out so you don't like him either I'm not going to say he's my favorite um, but that doesn't mean um, you don't like well he don't have to be your favorite but like do you like him I mean he's okay Okay. because most like like okay Um, what's the name let's go to attack on titan main character does he cry a lot does he whine a lot? But here's the difference, because we've talked about this. I think I think it was more with Mike B <clears throat> on some other episodes. Um, he does cry a lot. However, I mean, he saw his mom get eaten by a titan. Nothing's like nothing like that has happened to Midori. Not even close. No, nothing, nothing close. To Deku that. just didn't ever have. I mean, he was a quirkless, and to be given something or basically to take on the mantle, because you know when All Might went down. Everybody besides the people in the streets knew this meant he was passing the torch. So I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, they have a there's a lot of uh, mm-hmm. pressure. What? <laughs> there's a lot. Of, I had to think about the word. There's a lot of pressure put on both, especially in Attack on Titan, because you know he's pressured to. Not. I mean, I don't know where you are in it. I don't know. I, I didn't even think about it because you know my hero, no guns, life. Okay, I don't. I don't remember. It's okay. too much. It's too much going on. Uh, right. So basically, so I don't know. Right. So basically, his the issue is sometimes it's in, with him is they have these weights up, upon them. One is to be like all might, and then the other is to but, as a uh, titan but, lead them, but the, but a the, half human but, titan lead it the group to the next but the problem but the problem with midoriya is you don't you don't have to be like all might you want to be like all might no one's forcing you to do any any of this stuff you don't have to i think generally speaking everything would be fine if he would have gave his uh one for all to someone else like you don't have to do this like nothing is really on your shoulders because it has to be it's just this is what you're choosing to do so it's like okay oh i mean uh, it just it just nothing i think it's more than that because if you remember in the first episode it was like that was to be told you don't have a quirk but all of your your whole room is based upon all might 
So that's all he knew. Now he does know some of the other heroes as well, but All Might was like his idol. And then to be told, "No, nah, you don't have no, you don't have no quirk." There is no chance. And then to run into All Might, the coincidence, and then to help him. But let's but let's look at it like this. You you say you can sing, right? You used to sing. Uh huh. Wait, what's that? Fourth wall. Breaking down that fourth wall. I used to rap. Did you sing or rap or no? Play any kind of instrument or? I mean, I mean, not like, well. Like, like seriously. No. Okay. But do you sit around and cry all day because you can't be like Beyonce? Yeah, but that wasn't my dream. I think his point is like, this, right. is, this was like his lifelong dream. Like, I'm just saying, I can't. And, then, and he's young, right? Is he like, what, middle school or right. something? And in that world, the sky's the limit. With quirks, it basically gives you, because what is 80, that they explained in, explained in the movie today, 80% of the world has quirks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To some, and some, he didn't have one. Yeah, at the time, yeah. So he falls in that 20% that they don't talk about. Mm-hmm. They really never talk about those who are quirkless. Now you know the cops are there um and they have cops to do stuff but you don't even know if they're not if they're quirkless. So how did he end up at this school? I guess I missed this. I thought the school was full of people that had quirks or that were heroes. He was um so basically I um, might transfer him to the his power to him and when he did, he also um they had the ability to go and try out that testing and he made it. Uh, under the tutelage of All Might, of course, but um, he did make the he he passed the test. Okay, and then he got into school, and then that's where it's kind of gone from there. Got it. His rival, um, rival, not best friend, but friend, Bakugo or something. They're becoming more friend friends, but there's like that friendly rivalry yeah. that you know. So, but it was, I mean, it's been good. And what's the name? He's all screaming, yelling. It's been actually pretty good. I like. I mean, is there a, sometimes a little bit more fluff than I probably on the arc that I'm on right now? It's a lot of fluff, but eh, I mean, you're going to get fluff um, unless it's, you know, some of the stuff that we like, some of the darker stuff. Yeah. This is very, very light mm-hmm. until like they fight and some of the battles get darker um, and there'll be stuff that you'll see that'll get darker and then they'll go right back to light. So they don't, they, it's like they'll, they'll kind of tap dance around on the darkness mm-hmm. and then they'll go right back to the light and fluffy. It's whack. But if you want to check out my hero, if you want to check out No Guns Life, especially the manga, because I have that. So you know it's cool, you know, because I have it. Obviously. Boy. Let's try this. Let's see this. We we see a lot of people doing on this YouTube. This, you know, this is going to be first time I'm trying it. Links to all that down in the description. Yeah. So anyway, Let's jump into round two. Round two. I think Terrence was kind of getting into it a little bit. So that's why I'm kind of jumping right into it. We want to have a conversation about my hero because I'm wearing this hat for a specific reason. And for the people who are audio only, I'm, I'm wearing a Pikachu hat. I've never, I've never worn a Pikachu hat in my life, but I'm wearing one today because of this conversation. So we went to the movie and this is not starting the review of the movie, but this is what happened when we went to the movie. It was us and a theater full of 10 to 15 year olds. And I only say 15 year olds because once the movie was over and we left, it was oh. really, really, really cold outside, like <clears throat> super, super cold. They were waiting for their ride. Yeah. So they weren't standing outside waiting. They didn't go mm-hmm. to their car and drive off because they weren't old enough to drive. Yeah. They were all standing near the exit waiting for their ride so i say i'm wearing this pikachu hat because yo if i want to watch a kid show i'm gonna watch pokemon i'm i don't want to watch this if i want to watch a a show truly for children because that's what this seems like i'm gonna watch pokemon i'm gonna watch Oh. i'm gonna watch something that's a lot better than this because this this is not very good the show was not very good so the topic for conversation today is who was my hero's target demographic? And more specifically, when is when is it too, you know, too late for us to continue to watch these shows that really don't target us as their demographic? Because I can tell you right now from my from what I'm seeing, we are not the target demographic. So how old is too old before it's like, yo, we can't we can't be seen watching this no more. Well, we can't ask Terrence because he. <laughs> Hey. he's like I, he loves the show well I mean I, I won't say that I mean I like anime and I will follow it as long as it is it, good or interests you interests me and so I went to theater today 
Um, before I fail. <laughs> what? Show them. We, we got cameras now. Show them. Yeah, come, on. Show right. them. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, come on. Show them. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. But I saved my glasses. I did save hey, my glasses. Good. So basically when I went, it was an older crowd. I don't when I mean older, I mean like eighteen to twenty three, twenty four. Okay. Um that was there. Now you had maybe one or two um that came with their parents, but it was of the people that were there, it was older. And so it wasn't like that for us. The only older people we saw there were the like parents. there with their child like that there i'm here with my 12 year old so and i didn't get that and so i actually enjoyed it but but i'm okay with the because there because what i one thing that i like about the movie and if you've ever watched one of their movies um because it's the second i think this is the second movie um that they've had um their movies typically don't have a lot of like in the beginning, you know how they go through. This one was like straight to the point. Yeah, it wasn't like oh uh, no, it was pretty much quick to the point. They had the chase, which was cool. I liked the little car chase that they had, and then the heroes basically. But we were not reviewing the movie yet, so we're just talking about we're having a conversation about demographics. Demographics. So, I'm. I'm I'll say this. I not, got something to say about that car chase. See, this is what we be talking about. <laughs> now y'all can see. Now y'all can see what we see. What you, all right, what? Terrence. Terrence. So let me kind of <laughs> go over the preface of this so everybody kind of understands. I have a young child, a young sick child. So right now I'm kind of getting texts and stuff. So, so y'all know. Some of y'all out there probably have children too. Children. And so <laughs> children. That, y- that y'all take to go see my hero. Anyway. <laughs> And you may, because there's a lot of explosions and kids tend to like that. But but older people like that, too, because if you think about it, we used to and I'm going to go back into my youth. We watched all the diehards. We watched all of these movies that had huge explosions. My hero has huge explosions. Star Trek, huge explosions. So it had a lot of stuff to keep your attention. <clears throat> so that being said, if, if that didn't fit you. um, Then maybe you won't. But if you liked just the action, it, it even on the simplest of things, like it would it would appeal to anyone who likes action. Now, if you go into it with the mindset of I already don't like this, no, no. So no, if no. you go, if you gonna make no, it better, no, 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 that's not what's happening. Is it? Is um, it? Is it yeah, not? No, it's not. Because did you say you didn't like it before? Wait, yeah. all, we're just talking about demographics right now. Well, what I'm I'm saying, but no, that, I'm but saying, that affects that that is that affects your demographics. Well, no, no, up. that's because that's not what happened. Okay. I'm, I'm going in hoping I'm seeing I see a good movie, period. And when I start watching the movie, and then, then there's all these things that are appealing and are funny to children, eh. Like it's not, it's, and it's not really marketed as a child's movie. That's why we're having this conversation. But I don't who, think, who, I don't think they marketed it. That, okay. So where I've seen this mostly is and, and Hot Topic and GameStop are not just based upon kids. They're based upon are you sure? a what? No, they're not are you a sure? wide variety because the people that I did come into GameStop and, and saw it. Cause I, you know, sometimes I go to GameStop or whatever, uh-huh. mm-hmm. um, and I will, and and it's on our screen, well, and there, and the people that are asking about it aren't well, in that demographic that you're speaking. Well, about. let's let's talk about well, let's talk about just GameStop for just for for a second. You walk into GameStop, I walk into my GameStop, and I turn to the left, and I see Switch games, Switch Switch is pro- you know primarily for children. I walk straight forward, and I see Pokemon plushes, Pokemon toys and dolls um I'm, I'm just trying to wrap my head around this they they sell hats that don't really fit grown men but i made this one work today um they have little trinkets and toys right at the counter for kids they got pokemon cards right to the left the grown men are buying this stuff i'm not saying so- i'm not saying they're not but i think the majority of the majority of sales for pokemon cards are going to be for kids worldwide it's not not grown men that are keeping Pokemon cards alive and Pokemon plushes and Snorlax and Magikarp plushes alive is not grown men. And even if the grown man, a man is buying it, it's for the child. No, I won't say that because I, we sell we sell 
to. No, no, I'm saying that we got your one offs because I go buy some Pokemon cards. Well, no, 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 not just the one offs. I mean, I mean, because it's more than one offs. And so, I mean, there are adults that buy. They buy it just like they buy the Magic, which is geared for an older older crowd. The Magic, the Gathering cards. Yeah. But they buy it just the same. And a lot of these tournaments that they have aren't just ki- they're, they're the demographics at a lot of comic book stores aren't kids. They're older. Right, but that's like a a small percentage of the people who are actually buying cards. If you go look at at a tournament and who, how many people are there. Versus how many people worldwide are buying these cards. Like, so let me ask y'all a question. Do mm-hmm. is, is y'all have any friends that are going to see this movie? Yeah. Because um, I, I don't, I but do, I wouldn't. <laughs> I do not. I the only know. person I knew going to see this movie was a middle schooler. Her and her friends love this. So I really have no idea. I, I don't know who's watching this show. Yeah, I, I don't know anybody except for Mike B, who might have been just doing it for podcast purposes. But that's the only person I know that was going to watch this movie. So let me say this. I knew more. So and what I am noticing is this and a lot of females like this between the age of 18 to 24, 23, 24. Okay. Oh, I'm glad you said that. that. So that might be my problem with this show. And so, you know, they have that's why I say there's a lot of fan service because they like specific characters outside of Deku. Mm hmm. Um. So even though he's the main character, and they and they will almost kind of like Kakarot is to Dragon Ball Z, they actually like. Uh, what was said to me is they like the artwork in this better than they like the artwork in Dragon Ball Z. What Dragon Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super? Dragon Ball period. Because Dragon Ball Super the artwork is just trash. Well, the, the, I, we they, know Dragon Ball Z is just old. right. So they have said to me, um, unless somebody has uh, like I, I spoke to somebody about it uh, what the Wednesday and they were and they were going to see it with their dad and she's maybe 22 um and she and so and her dad likes it too and I'm pretty sure and her dad is 50 hmm. so it, I mean it just depends and you that may be your one-off well I, I say the thing about the I'm glad you said something about women liking this because I think the last thing I saw with this was there were I think they were weren't they doing my hero cross Sanrio merch Oh yeah, I think we did see something yeah, about that. Yeah, so it's like they're targeting not girls. only just girls now, but women and seemingly younger women. Well, and I'm trying to think when we did Retro Palooza, remember we came in with that um the Midoriya mm-hmm. or Deku whatever statue. Everybody that was freaking out about that was like 12. Right. It was or 12 to 15. Yeah. It it wasn't the adults that were hanging around cuz we had like people that were just like all over the booth for those giveaways. So it seems like they they're doing a good job at least of capturing all of the kids, seemingly some women also, and appealing just enough for at least a few older people to watch it. So I guess my next question is when is it and if we're not if we if are we going to say that my hero is for kids or no? Uh, I'm going to say yes. No. No, no and no. no. I can I'll, see where maybe more kids like it, but I don't think it's just for kids. Okay. So my guess my question will be about Pokemon then, since apparently my hero is for targeted for me, apparently. No, I'm not um, saying it's targeted for you. I just think like that's what I'm saying. Who's the target audience for my hero? It's a blend. I don't think it's just for small children. I mean some of the, and some of the violence in it is truly not for Small children. I, I don't. I don't, I don't see. I, don't, a, I, don't see I a, didn't see. I didn't see what the rating was. Yeah. I, I don't know what it was, but it wasn't T. I may got a. It may have been PG, but I don't. I don't think it was E. I don't think it was a low rating, so that small children. Well, could here, go here's and my see. thing. Even if we're talking about T for teen, that is still not my demographic. I'm not a teenager. Like. I guess I would say high school. Right, high school. So I'm I'm, not, looking, I'm looking at high school as like a kid. Okay, I was thought you meant like little, like ten year old. No, I mean just basically what we saw at the theater, like this twelve. To see, and I didn't see, and I didn't see all of that. Yeah, twelve to fifteen year old giggling little boys, mm-hmm. giggling at everything that happens it on was the screen. Yeah, nothing, there was it was like main focus. Every, like when I it was everybody was focused on the movie. So if there was something funny, funny, haha, like when. The dude, if he uses electric power so much, he's yeah, he becomes dumb. Yeah, that wasn't funny, but nobody, nobody really. I mean, but that's the inside joke. But nobody really cared about that. They were more. Oh no, the, the, the whole theater erupted. 
Oh, see, I was for every every time that he showed up and that he was kind of brain dead. Um, so I guess my again my next question, the question I'm trying to get to is, how old is it too old before you before you can't watch Pikachu anymore? I mean that's a, that's personal because I don't ever think that I'll start watching anime. Uh, even no no Pikachu even Pikachu if the movie is right. If the movie is right, I don't think it'll be a problem for me. I don't know. Um, because it see, it's hard because I think when these one off thing happen like these one off things happen, like when that Pikachu movie came out, not Detective Pikachu, the one before oh, that. Oh, the one he, where he was talking in that uh-huh. one too. Yeah. But I feel like people that were similar to our age, maybe a little younger, were like super excited about that movie. But I feel I also feel like that's just nostalgia. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think they're actively no. going home watching Pokemon on Nickelodeon. Right. Like, oh, I got to watch this new episode of from the, you know, Unova region. Like, that's not what I don't think that's what's happening. I it's, agree. I don't think that they're watching Pikachu daily. Or it's whatever. like, here's this one time where I can see Pokemon on the big screen. Like this one time event. So I don't know. So y'all just y'all got nothing. I don't know. I just feel like. <laughs> well, I, no, because I don't I don't I don't I don't think that they ever try to classify it as okay teenager this is your this is for you and you only because at the same time when i was watching Dra- towards the end of dragon ball like the dragon ball z i was an adult but that didn't mean i was gonna stop watching it because somebody tried to put a demo put it in a, you, a certain slot you was you was an adult the whole time pretty i probably was yeah. now i i was close yeah. so what so so i'm supposed to stop because you say this is the demographic for high schoolers or <clears throat> no if i enjoy it i enjoy it period okay. so stop putting it in a box when you put it in a box that that almost makes it but, not, but it, I'm, but, I'm not gonna say i'm gonna go out and buy toys but it, but it is in a box but it, I, but you you're saying that you're still okay with opening that box uh, yeah it, it is in and a i'm box. pretty sure there's a lot of other people too yeah I don't, I'm, I'm not saying it's not I'm yeah just, I, I'm I don't asking, i don't I'm think just, the people, i don't want to be boxed in and i don't think people who watch it want to be boxed in either now do i am i saying that when you win, it wasn't like a whole bunch of kids. No, I'm not saying that. But I didn't get the same. I didn't get the same experience as you did. So does that mean my experience is different? Yeah, but it doesn't mean that it's going to say that the demographics, the demographics were the reason for people. Because this movie was at every almost every theater in the surrounding area. It was at 32 the, 32 theaters. And there were multiple, and they were in, and they were in big. They what's, were in, what's that got to do with the theaters. demographic? They were in big theaters. What I'm saying is this: He's, it's popular. It's popular, so right. it was popular with everybody, not just popular with with as you say with high school. So I'm pretty sure because I didn't go the first day, well, and I don't, I, I hadn't planned to because I had to work. But I'm pretty sure it was more than just kids, and like today would have been a perfect day early this morning, 10 o'clock like I did to go and see it and be a bunch of kids. You know how people get up early, take the kids. Yeah, because it's cheaper. <laughs> and it's cheaper. Not a- I, If I had to guess, I would think the demographic would be like <clears throat> 10 to 20. Okay. But but I do agree, this seems to be very popular and I, I wouldn't say there's a cutoff. Like you can't watch it anymore if you're 40. I mean, if you like it, whatever. I don't know. But yeah, I, if I had to guess, I would say 10 to 20. All right. So after we wrap this up and before we do our next show, I'm going to go watch some Sesame Street because that's not weird. That's <laughs> that's normal because we we put stuff in a box and there shouldn't be a box. So I'm going to go watch Sesame Street and I'm going to learn how to count <laughs> because there ain't no boxes here. Sesame Street, though, is like specifically written for kids. No, no, there's no box. This no, yeah. for you counting, put, you're learning how to you count. You can't put stuff in a box. Hold on, hold on. You can't put it in a box. But those of us who have small children, you can't put it in a box. We gonna watch this <laughs> and we not gonna have a problem with it because in in a, in a sense where it's not like I'm sitting in a corner with the lights off trying to watch Sesame Street. What's wrong with that though? You put the lights off? Mm-hmm. <laughs> put the lights off? Yeah, I'm just saying. I, I won't entertain that, but. I'm just saying. I won't entertain that, but I don't think that there's a, like, <laughs> I don't think there's a demographic for this. Okay. Um. I don't think it's inappropriate if a grown man is watching My Hero is what you're saying. Because it sounds like it's weird for you to be watching Sesame Street. Oh, okay. Well, but 
I don't think it's like inappropriate or like. Well, I'm, not, I'm not saying inappropriate. That's not that's not where I was going with any of this. Well, I'm that's what you. It's kind of sounds like. Well, it's just I, like there should be a cutoff. Like like my hero should get make to a certain age group, and then it should be a cutoff. And then if you say, I watch my hero, is that a problem? Because I'm just, I'm just saying. When did I say you've been to the club? It's been a long time for me. Right. Well, why? Well, why? I'm in a relationship. Well, so I'm I go just, to the club, I'm going to get in trouble. Well, I'm just saying. So it ain't because I couldn't. If I was single, I couldn't go. But would you go? You haven't. You wouldn't go? But I ain't single. I wouldn't go. It don't go. matter if you were single. I'm not no, into that life anymore. I, so if you were single, you'd go to the club? I had me a drink. Man, come on. Drink? Yeah. Little drinky drink? No. Why don't you go to the club anymore? Because I'm not about that life. I don't want to stay up late. I don't like the noise. I don't like all the people. I don't want to have to put effort into getting cute. Okay. I don't and stay don't up pro- that late. I yeah, I don't have a problem going. Um, if the fellas <clears throat> want to go out, now we now we're all in relationships now. So well, I'm just I'm just saying, regardless of relationship, when you get there and you see the club is packed full of 21 year olds, you know you you don't, don't need go to, to be the, there. I don't go to them kind of club. I go to the sugar. You shack. know you don't need so to be there. Sugar shack. Sugar shack. So he goes to the, the grown folk grown folk club, club with the drink. So where, so you go to the grown folk club, correct? But you're okay for with not watching grown folk anime. I'm not saying you don't watch grown folk anime. I'm just saying you're okay with watching an anime that's not for grown folks. I don't. I don't. He doesn't believe that. I don't believe that. Okay. He thinks it's for everybody. Okay. Everybody. Well, let's. Everybody. Let's go. Let's go ahead and move on so we can review this. So we can talk about that car chase. Round three. Time for the review of the actual movie. Let me say what I didn't like about that car. Was it even a car chase? What was it? Whatever it was, it it was a car chase right in the beginning of the movie. I didn't like it because it was super, super, super CG. And f- me trying to think of what I have seen from the anime, I don't remember like a whole bunch of CG <laughs> scenes from the anime. Like that kind of 3D, that sold that super 3D kind of feel to it. And it wasn't really polished or refined or real smooth. So it just kind of turned me off just from the beginning. And I don't know about y'all's situation where you saw it um, pre-fall. I'm going to call you pre-fall. Pre-fall. Um, <laughs> but the, it was something weird with the sound. Like that whole time, I couldn't hear what anybody was saying. And at first, I'm like, "Is it? are they filming a movie? That's kind of what I thought. I was like, is this any of this real or are they like filming a movie? Well, I, 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 heard, couldn't, I couldn't hear him. Like I could hear him, but it's like it wasn't loud. And now I think that was, I, mine was clear. Where I went, it was clear. And I could hear everything they said. Now, now as the movie went on, I could hear all the vocals just fine. But it, it was just for that one part in the beginning with the car chase. Well, no. Actually, the, the brother in the car. Um, I actually heard what he was saying to the, to the guy with the turret. But the, the 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 brother in the car actually is an, in the arc right now. He's actually in the arc right now. But the nobody else was in in the arc. Mm-hmm. Um, has been in this arc. So these they introduced a, a bunch of new heroes as well as this. But what I like about it, and and people say that they the, somebody said to me that the sometimes the villains don't have the development like some of the other anime. Um, that we watch or whatever, I f- I thought that these villains we know about already. This is the league of uh, the league of villains. Mm-hmm. So this is there we know about them. They've been Dobby and the rest of them. Are they all and the number one hero now. What's the name's dad is the number one hero now. Um, and so no, I think thing I th- I I I, th- I could hear everything. Um, I maybe the siren may have been a little bit loud. The sirens. And, and and some of the that was a little bit some of the the gun shooting was mm-hmm. kind of overly loud. No, oh, maybe that's what it was because because um, when just, he started firing, it was loud and, you, it, and you, it almost kind of you know those scenes and maybe it's happened in sitcoms or TV shows or something where we're back here having a conversation but they're filming over there but you can still hear them mm. but yeah. it sounds like they're far away. That's like that's the that's the kind of sound I got from the beginning of the movie. So I was just like, I don't really know what's going on here. I have no clue. But anyway, what did you think of the movie? And, um, and more specifically, what did you think of the movie in compared to the episodes you've seen? So when the movie started, I felt like, okay, I'm liking this more than the show. I could, I felt like I could, I was, um, I could follow along. It was keeping my attention. I thought it was cute. You know, again, like I like the, um, the art style, um, but I feel like around once they got into that fight with, I guess his name was nine, 
the mm-hmm. leader, the one that was like mm-hmm. tracking him. Mm-hmm. Uh, and see, I'm not a big like y'all know y'all kind of lose me on Dragon Ball when the, when it's like just fighting. That's the whole entire episode. That's what I love. I'm like uh, that. I kind of just got tired of it at that point. I was like, it was just felt like they were fighting for a really long time with this guy, and then they did the whole transfer of power, and I didn't really know. I mean, I felt like they were explaining it, so you didn't have to know all the background, you know, to watch this movie. Because I didn't know that All Might had transferred his power to him. I didn't really know what was going on. Well, that was part of, part, part of my problem with this whole movie. And with the episodes, I feel like they go through, as you say, you know, with the opening credits from the TV show and the movie, they explain to you pretty much everything that's going on, like every episode. Yeah. Like, why do we have to keep going back telling people that Midoriya looked up to all, you know, All Might and he wanted to, wanted to be him and showing him crying, showing the Jordan, Michael Jordan crying meme. We got to keep showing him crying over and over. Like, why do we got to keep, why do we keep doing this over and over? It's just like filler. I don't know if that's what you meant by the fluff, but it's just like, well, this no, is just up here wasting, this is just wasting time. Just like replaying the same crap. And not only is it replaying it, but it's the same exact scenes from the show. That was another, my biggest problem with this movie. It seems like they just pasted together three or four episodes and made a movie out of it. No, I didn't feel that at the all. The graphics weren't that much better than your, your normal TV show. Actually, a lot of the scenes were better that they took from the TV show yeah, and inserted into this movie. The graphics were actually better from those scenes. It was just... Eh. One thing I'll say, it kind of made me um, not laugh, but just kind of chuckle because when you were laughing, you you thought it was funny. When you were describing like the story, like in general, just my the my hero story, I was like, and you're talking about these people that go to the school, whatever. I'm like, this sounds like X Men. Like they all have these quirks and whatever. Mm -hmm. And you were saying, you know, it's a little bit different because they go to that, you know, the school to to control their stuff. You know, this Mm -hmm. is you're trying to save the world with your. It's a little bit deeper, more adult storyline behind x-men uh-huh so yeah so but watching them all um at nabu island or whatever they were all walking around their little like house hut thing whatever that was and they all look kind of funny and different and they all it just kind of still reminded me of x-men okay i don't know so why do i anyway um i enjoyed it i enjoyed the movie i enjoyed it for what it's worth it mm-hmm. was a movie so i went i enjoyed it there were things that i didn't like i didn't like the whole uh, because this was kind of like a provisional test for them it was it was asked of them because the hero of that island had got too old so they were brought there to To help out help out really because you know um what's the name is carrying an old lady on his back because the back gave out all that was whacked that first 30 minutes was all but i'm okay with that because what what it happened is Every hero doesn't have to be traditional hero, what we watch in Marvel or, as you say, Detective Comics. They don't have to have those same. That doesn't make them a hero. But they, but then they don't need to be there. That's your, your opinion. I mean, I, I, they don't you know. need to be there. Anybody uh, could have anybody could have went and, and had Granny on the back. Uh, <laughs> any, any, any. But that's not how, that's not the layout of the movie. I'm just saying anybody could have. I mean, you know, and not anybody can't go fight all for one. Is that am I saying that right? Uh, one for all <laughs> what see, i can't even get the name straight no the, the average man can't go do that your average man could go find a lost cat like you don't have so to you're have, saying like it was fluff like the first 30 minutes of them and it was so ridiculous it should have showed more like heroes saving it was just dumb for them to be there and the the, the whole premise of them being there was stupid well yeah because they said there was like no crime so, right. why, so i didn't why really I understand here? why they took the whole class right. That was kind of weird. I didn't understand. Like, so it, it, basically what had happened was this. And I went back to the semblance of basically, and you know, they kind of talked about it, um, about all the League of Villains and all of the things that have been happening since um, All Might stepped down, mm-hmm. since he retired. And even though there wasn't much crime there, there were things going on, you know, in society where villains were starting to kind of step out of, the, out of the shadows and do more. All right. And so... Um, they were asked to go there by, the, if you remember correctly, by the dude who does the exams. The guy who was sitting in front of him asking the guy, oh, he, he is the yeah. one who was the overseer of the exams. So so it was cool. Now, yeah, I mean, the dude who, the lightning dude, start your battery. I mean, but these are <laughs> things that 
it just made me feel like yeah. it's in a small. I mean, it's a small area. There's not a lot of crime, but there were things that they um, helped. And even they even kind of said that to one of them said, "Why are we here?" Um, and Baku was like, "I'll be ready for when the villains come." And then the, and the people were like, "Hey, you've done so much for us." We're gonna bring you this food. You oh want to eat good. Every time I watch an anime and there's food, I'm just it just always looks so it good. It does look it looks well prepared. It it looked good. Everybody ate and they were full. And it, but you know, this also dealt with the bond building of Baku and Deku. Cause they were friends when it started. And they have their their Well, they were never really friends. From what they showed from when they were kids. They Baku, were Baku was they, always well, no, no. kind of picking on him. Well, and, no, and in the very beginning before they actually were decent and, and, then, and look and look i'd be your friend too if you gave me the ultimate power here come here come on I mean, he didn't really i mean he didn't come really, on. but he didn't want it it don't matter he didn't want it he stuck his hand out there because he, yeah. <laughs> he stuck his hand he out there and it. took it but then it ended up not like he didn't lose yeah, it all that was dumb man that whole movie was dumb but no why why, <laughs> why? i don't know why i didn't write it but no but you said it's dumb <laughs> You so, didn't write what you, you said. So, so, so you go. So you, okay, just so what you were saying. Okay, all my step down. <laughs> all my step down. Tears get hot. So we got villains running amok, right? All right. So let's send all of our top students to a random island with no crime. Okay, cool. This random island with no crime. What are we gonna do? We're gonna tear up everything. And oh, now we can't call. Uh, nobody has a quirk that we can like use. You know, telepathy to find somebody on the mainland nothing no oh the towers are down so we can't call the adults for any help oh no what are we going to do but they did they, but they did call an adult for help they were able to call no 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 i mean in the traditional sense of i'm picking up a phone because all the electricity is all now. anime traditional do what is all anime traditional do don't they have phones but and, is did all they anime- not, and not only do they do they do they have phones but they specifically said this is the reason why we can't get help because the phones were down. Exactly. Well, that's, but, that's, well it's not even a, well, the phones weren't down because the phones were never, were never an issue. It was the, but I, like I said. So so then, so anyway, can't, so we can't get help. We mm-hmm. can't get any immediate help. And this is the reason why I thought that reason was dumb. We're here on this island. I thought the reason why they were on the island was dumb. Now for us to beat the main boss at the end, which actually the dude with the horns and look like a dog was to me the biggest, baddest dude there. Maybe not by strength or skill level, but he he was the one that I feel like that fight was better than the other fights, I should say. But now we're here and I got to give you my power. So we can be, defeat the enemy. But then afterwards, because you passed out before the thing was complete, you didn't actually get the powers, but you had the powers and you were able to use the powers, but you don't really have them. And all that is silly. Like, that ain't it silly. I was really ready to see like, OK, well, what's going to happen now? What's going to happen to Midoriya? Is he going to die? Because <laughs> I don't, re- well, I don't, because I don't remember what they say happens when you when you when once you transfer. you transfer the power, something's yeah. gonna happen, or he's just gonna be quirkless or whatever, and then this dude's gonna be super powerful because he has all for one, plus he has his well, exploding sweat. Uh, no, because All Might, <laughs> All Might was able to give him some of the power, but he didn't give it all to him because you, if you remember correctly, All Might was still able to perform up until a certain point. And yeah, and then, that's what they said with the flame, and and that's, yeah. and that's how Midori was still able right. to, which would also lead to lead you to believe that he had no longer had his power because he was d- dependent on the little flame that was left, and that Bakugan had the power. But uh, no, but he, but no, but he didn't. Come well, on, well, one he didn't want it, even to before that. He stuck the finger up, but he that. did. Give me that because they were about to die. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, we don't know we're about to die now, but I mean. It was looking bad. It was looking bad. So, uh, and, and like most stuff in the greatest darkness, you you will rise. You know, most most that's yeah. that's that's the thing behind most rise from the ashes. From the ashes, you rise like the phoenix. So I didn't have a problem with it. Now here's my. Huh, huh. This was the I the only thing that was funny to me about that. I had a feel of when their heads started to <laughs> blaze up. Mm-hmm. I had a Dragon Ball Z moment. Why did your why did oh, you yeah. oh yes I why, did too I thought the same thing I was like okay are they trying to say Dragon Ball we're trying to take your sp- I I just it was funny it was funny it was but it cool. was supposed to be funny but it was cool I mean it was cool but it was funny because Dragon Ball is the uh, more popular of the I mean of the uh, right now 
and then it's, but my hero and then it's dragon ball so it was kind of like ah uh, let me take a, a poop on you we can make your hair light up we can do the things and we can shoot beams and now we can be super because if that was the case um deku went past a hundred percent at the both of them went past mm-hmm. their limits at that time so that one was kind of funny now the, now the in sequence in the and i like the score i like the music especially when they were fighting I didn't really, I, I didn't really notice the music until I feel like that was a part. Was there a part where no, that was a part where there was just music when they were fighting and they weren't talking anymore. Well, there was music right? when he was getting handled um, before. What's the name screamed and in, in the in the illusion of Deku came up. Yeah, there was music. It just another silly mo- moment in the okay. That was her. That's her quirk. Is illusions. Illusions. But did it have to be a big illusion like a? Well, I, 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 that was her SOS. That was her form of SOS. Um, I don't know. I don't. I didn't. I don't remember if the kids had cell phones too. So I don't remember if they couldn't um, respond to anyone. No, I don't remember. I don't have cell phone service. We can't get any help. Um, well, well, hey, I got a big illusion. If y'all can see this, y'all can see. Now, no. given, I will say that the the battle with the. What, uh, he with the I don't, he was part of everything. He looked like he, um, wolf, uh, dragon. Yeah, he was dope. But when what's all I know? But put that ice in him. Put that ice in his life. Mm-hmm. But that wasn't even. I like when what's the name lost his mind in the shadows, and even the chick got scared because. Yeah, but I but I just felt like when they went in the dark in the beginning, he was getting handled too. I thought this is where you're supposed to thrive. Well, if you and remember, he, when, he still got handled right in the beginning. If you remember correctly, um, in one of the earlier arcs with uh, Dobby, when Dobby was introduced the, with the Blue Fire, they didn't want to deal with him because it was at night, and his shadow was starting to get the best of him. Mm-hmm. And when his shadow gets the best of him, then that's when everybody kind of so, backs off. So here's here's what I've noticed about my hero and Terrence. Let me see. Terrence. Terrence. You make this stuff sound way more impressive than it is actually shown in the anime. Like what you're saying sounds decent, but when you watch it, it's all silly and goofy, and it's not really cool. But I, I, but see, but, like, I, but when you when you say what happened, like, hey, this happened, and he's in the darkness, and he losing control, and he does all that, but it's just not presented that way. It just comes off it as is like it's presented that way. It's not. Here's the problem with that. It's not. Here's the problem with that. It's presented that way, but anybody, and I would say this to anybody who gets in and is looking at it for the first time, you won't know. Because if you didn't watch it previously, you don't, you won't know anything. You won't know about the dude with the belly button and when, yeah. and, and but, he, but it don't, Tommy. But it don't when, matter if you know. When, but when, it does. No, because when you see the dude shooting the stuff out of his belly button, he's all flamboyant and doing all this. You don't seem tough. You don't seem whatever. You seem silly. It just seems goofy. You're shooting these sting. Now you're getting sick, and you. It's just it's all silly and goofy. But it's not. It. It's not it's like there's no seriousness to any of this. You again. You make it sound cool. No, 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 no. But when no, it's, no, no, it's no. not presented to be. It's you're, not. It's not cool. No, it is. Ah, uh, flamboyant. Well, here's the thing. Flamboyant and goofy, and I'm. Doing but here's this here's the problem. It, what you're saying, and the way you make it seem, is I'm giving backstory. You're giving none. So basically what you're saying is what I've seen, what I'm going off on this movie, because my hero is not just about the movie. Everything, like you said. I'm telling you, when the well, backstory no, said, was presented, it was on. presented in a goofy fashion. No, no, no. You said at the beginning of the thing, they, they continuously, repeated, uh, repetitively give you, give you, give you the same thing over and over. Yeah, yeah. So you so that when you do watch this portion of here or you do watch something that has happened, you get all of it and you don't but just be I, like, I, I guess what? Guess what? I'm not a child. I remember why Midoriya <laughs> is where he's at. You don't it have has, to show me ten times but that doesn't have to remind to do, me. That doesn't have anything well, to do with Well, who's that for then? It's not for me because I watched it. I know why he's there. That's why just, do you keep showing so, me this? So the person who wrote it. No, it's for her. It's not for me. It's not for you. It's for her. Um like not not the true fan right uh, no, and, and it's just like you, you're trying too hard to grab everybody no i, I you're think you're trying too no, hard I, this, I don't, the, the I show don't tries think. too hard i don't think and, it's and, and it's, it's, i don't think it at all because i i enjoy and and the funny thing about it is you say i have given you all these things to say well that may be all right but i'm not the only one seeing the same thing so no no i'm not saying i'm what i'm saying is what you're telling me i'm not saying you're lying about anything i'm saying what you're saying that's what happened right yeah 
But when they presented it to me, you make it sound like there's a dire kind of situation and they didn't want to deal with him because it was getting the best of him. And I'm thinking, oh, man, he's kind of going crazy and he can't control his powers or he can't control the shadows and all that. But when they present it, it is not it, it doesn't feel that way when they but present I, it. That's what I got. But like, they, I, but, I like I like even when she was like. Way. It doesn't feel like that at all. Well, what you're saying sounds really good. Is what, right. I mean, you're doing a good job telling like what's going on, but the execution of it but is But that not is the good. execution that I saw. Yeah. So it wasn't like all of a sudden he was just in the shadow and he was whizzing, ooh, ooh, it's nothing and it's nothing happening. No. But that's it, how he it, talks. What, no. That's how the dude talks. <laughs> No, not the shadow guy. That's yes, not how he, he talks. That's not how he talks. That's a sound nah. all smart. And, and, so, and what, what's, what I've noticed is, since you've been talking about this, you make them sound like they're five and six. Because that's the, how they act. That's how they, they act. They don't act like that. The show uh, is goofy. The show there are, goofy. There, a, there now, are those who in there who are. But he's like the laid back cool one. This, so it's like. This could, be the, this could be the main thing that's different here. And for all the new YouTube subscribers, hey, thank you. Everyone who's watching, I think the main difference is you're watching it in a different language. I'm I'm watching the oh. dub version, and in the dub version, everybody's goofy, everybody's silly, everybody's crying. There's nothing serious ever going on. Wait, did you see it in English? Is it only in English? I, no, didn't, I saw it's it both. In, I saw it in dub. Oh, you saw the English version? I just saw it in English. I did not see it in English. Oh, you saw the no, subtitle. I saw. Oh, okay, yeah, they got they had both. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I think that might that be, may be why that might be you didn't see kids because, also. Because my thing is, I don't know what the script is in the Japanese version, but if they have a deep and serious voice, yeah, they could. Blah blah blah. Oh like yeah, his, it does. Yeah, his voice is no. This stuff yeah. over here is goofy and lighthearted and silly, and, and that is the disconnect. I think that might be the disconnect because this stuff over here, dude. He's no. not. He's not a goofy character. No, all yeah. this stuff is goofy. Not a goofy. No, it's goofy. It's all goofy. Am I? Am I? Yeah. It, no, it is. Baku no. is not a goofy character. Yeah. It, oh, they make it. Okay, they make him seem intense, but they still make him seem goofy. Mm-hmm. No, they don't. Like they were laughing their butt off when when he was interacting with the little girl and. You know, I'll kill you or I'm going to destroy you. Why did you do this? And all like, yeah, totally. Yeah. Like it was just way over the top. It was way, it was kind of yeah. goofy. So like, I don't, yeah, what you know, I don't watch English. So stuff. I'm giving you backstory and you're giving me nothing, guy. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Anyway, back to the movie. I if, enjoyed the movie. You enjoyed the movie. Did and you, you didn't like the movie? No, after all, I, after all was said and done, I was kind of like, eh. I was ready to start liking the movie when it got to the that got to the fights. And see, we're but, opposite. You and I are opposite. Well, I was like, I'm waiting for the yeah, you know, like something's gonna happen, right? Right. Um, big explosions. I was, I was, all I kept thinking in my head was you getting on me for like an Iron Man for some reason back on you know level 30 or something a long time ago podcast we did which i don't know where you really got that from but uh, all you like is laser beams and blah 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 like that's all that <laughs> pew, was pew 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 that's all that was happening in this i didn't like it was, li- just, it was oh, just a bu- i didn't like the fingernail uh laser beams it was now, just a bunch when, of light show now when he called down the storm i like that i like that and that was cg um and, but i've noticed it and this is another thing that i've noticed in there because this is the second movie i, I looked it up the first movie they, <laughs> in the Google machine. Um, well, because I I saw it, um, and it was more. Oh, about, oh I, my. I I thought this was the first movie until I heard some little twelve year olds and like, no, in the first movie, this is what happened. Blah, well, because in the first movie, and I was like, it was about movie. All Might. It was about All Might and Deku. So um, I'm like, so is this like? Because you would think My Hero Academia, the movie, would be the first movie. No, based off the title. No, this is this so, was called All Stars Rising or something. Yeah. My hero so academia. was the first one called the movie also with a different sub I don't kind remember. of sub I don't remember. Okay. I have to, but I do remember this. The first one was about all my in tr- them trying to help him get his power back. He looked <coughs> he looked stupid too. No matter what language you listening to. Oh, his little body. Yeah. Oh, no the, matter what language. Oh, the little body. Well, the little body is a little body because you know he caught he, he, blood look, he looks ridiculous. Like the way he's drawn. Or? Yeah, he looks oh. ridiculous. With, with the this, dark with the eyes and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he yeah. looks. Well, on, but I'm man. okay with. I mean, because that's like the. Is he supposed to be like? Is it supposed to be Clark Kent Superman thing? Like no. a disguise? No, no his body no. has been his body's been ravaged to that state. But his face even looks different. <laughs> it's his body's been ravaged. He, he was oh, his the, whole entire body. Awful yeah. one. Um, awful one who was the evil villain that for uh, against him basically. 
did something to his body and his body was deteriorating ever since. Okay. And they tell you that every episode also. Not getting on you. I'm just saying. I don't remember them telling me that every episode. They showed you in the movie. They showed you in the movie. But they show you in the movie, but that's not a problem. Why are you showing me this again? Why are you why are you making this horrible movie longer by showing me clips Stop. from the horrible yeah, TV that's, show? That's him. That's just Stop him. it. That's him. Show me that's, something good and better and new. Because we'll see we'll see <laughs> Stop it. when 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 the ratings come when the money come out to see how well it did. Because I actually think it did pretty well. No, just just because it made money don't mean it's good. That's your just, opinion. Just because it made money that's, does not like, mean it's good. So you had an opinion, you didn't you weren't fine with it. You had an opinion, you really didn't like it at all, and I did. That's what we do. I'm we have saying, opinions. I'm just saying. Your just opinion be, is you didn't I'm, like it, but I'm I saying, enjoyed it. Is it true or false? Just because it makes money, that doesn't mean it's good. Just because uh, something doesn't make movie, money doesn't mean it's bad. Mm, it depends I mean, on what on. it is. Come on. I mean, that's, that is kind of true because Drake makes a lot of money and he's trash. Ooh, say it. <sighs> mm. But people love him. This. Just I know. Like, it's weird. Well, do people love him. Just like Mumble people rap. love my hero. So that's that means there is... There are. That means there's nothing else better to watch right now. No, so they spend their money it. on my no, hero. C- no. Well, it, no, it just could be as a popular I, show. I, I bet you if this was a competitive thing like hip hop, I bet you if they put a Dragon Ball Z movie out same weekend as my hero, my hero would make no money. I don't know about that. Man, come on, dude. I don't know about come that. Come on. Everybody know, know Dragon Ball Z. Oh, hold on. Been, well, it, how you swear is Dragon Ball Z is super is trash. So it would if they put still, out they put still, super under the bottom. It's still more it popular. Still, it's still more popular. Uh, than you didn't say Dragon Ball Z was no. Uh, yeah, super. I didn't say Dragon Ball Z. Oh, okay. Yeah, so super trash. I, no, I made sure I oh, okay, said okay. super. Yeah, super so trash. So I could hear his yeah 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 yeah. It's, but anyway, it's trash meow, meow. and it still makes a lot of money. Super. Yeah. I don't. I haven't heard anybody talk about super. What, dude? Super when it was out was the number one anime in the world. I have For not. all of those years and months it was out, it was number one. Uh, period. Uh, and over here it is. Even in Japan. No, because, yes, it was. No, yes, it was. No, because if you remember correctly, no, no, because if you remember correctly, One Piece was taken down by my hero, not by Dragon Ball Z. One Piece. So it just depends <laughs> in the area you are. See, this is that's this is where we come different when we watch anime. You watch the stuff that. You can you can see their mouth move and you can see what they saying. You not because you, you won't watch anything in in, in sub and and and. Uh, but I watched the same thing you did. No, no, I'm uh, I'm just saying. Anyway, back to the movie. The movie was good. The the back to what I was saying about the lights and the pew pew as you like to say. All that was trash. All that was garbage. It, they they charge up this big old attack, and I'm ready to blast you. And then when it blasts, like nope, let's pan out you know, to a camera view that's a mile away and just show a big explosion. We can't actually see what happened to the enemy or the opponent, whether it been the good guy or the bad guy. They didn't really show a lot of impact as as it pertains to any of the powers that were being used. So I was like, this. I was just done. I was just done. Like, I was like, this is what you sit and wait for, right? You you wait for that one big move. And they gave me the cool Dragon Ball super graphics, as you like, you know, as you said. But as far as the fight itself, like, it just, this is, it's not, this is not good. It's, it's not good. I, I was just trying to. What you got? I was just looking she, really quick. She tell you ordering a pizza? No. It was, I, I, I was just Googling what, like, the, uh, like all time best or whatever most popular anime, mm. and this, but I don't know if this is a I don't know if this is a opinion piece or what, but they, it was just listing the the um best original TV anime series. Yeah, I think it's an opinion, but anyway, one to ten doesn't include My Hero. I know that oh, Death yeah. Note yeah. is number one. My Hero's trash. I mean, no, it should be on anybody's top ten. List. Well, no, but it's, it it's an opinion, it and be that's on, the same with you, what you're saying. That's it your be, opinion. It should be so on, that's, I've that's, never that's said that. Opinion. I've never said that. No, that's you what you're talking opinion, about. What you're, what you're saying is your opinion. No, well, that's what you think. What I'm saying is fact. This is trash. Well, no, no, it's not. Yes, it this is. is your opinion. No, it's trash. No, it's your opinion. <laughs> it's trash. It's your opinion. It's trash. No, it's your opinion. There are opinions that can be factual. Yours not. This yeah, is, that, is no. This your, is your opinion. Your, your opinion no. is that. Hold on. Your opinion is that my this opinion is, the is time, not factual. <laughs> this is this is the time. <laughs> well, this is the time when we need other people besides you to say. That's why we hey. got unbiased hand. You see. So I googled. Hand. I googled again. Top ten most popular anime of all time. Mm. I don't know if that's a good one because this is how long has this been around? 
Mm, uh, maybe two years. Three years, maybe. Right. Something yeah. like that. Because it has Dragon Ball, One Piece, Pokemon, Naruto, Death Note, Detective Conan, Attack on Titan, yeah, Sailor Detective Moon, Conan is Full Metal Alchemist, old, Sword old. Art Online. Detective o- Conan is probably about, I would say, almost the same age as mm-hmm. Dragon Ball. But still, no My Hero. I don't, but I'm looking for some numbers. I want some numbers. Yeah. Well, so and, we're going, we're going to come. How about that? We're going to come back to this. Yeah. On another kind of. Because, hey, hey, this is a good time. Because you got Trump facts. Trump uh, facts? <laughs> you got Trump facts. Nah. Um, because we do have another show that we kind of need to start promoting at some point. It's called the A&X Weekly Update. So we're going to give y'all A&X news. We're going to give y'all some more conversation. What's going on in the news. So. Football. It was always hard for us to do news. We wanted to. We always wanted to do current news. But by the time we talked about what's happening today, we put out this podcast two weeks later. That's old news. Nobody wants to hear about that. So we will be coming with a weekly show called ANX Weekly Update, where maybe we can revisit some of these. Maybe we can get some real numbers. We didn't know we were going to have this debate because we don't kind of talk about this stuff. We come in. This is just a true reaction to what we saw at the movie theaters. And how we felt about it and how he feels versus what I feel versus what she feels. So this is all this is the first time we ever talked about this movie. Correct. So we didn't come with all the numbers because it's I'm not gonna, rehearsed, man. I'm going to try to do some research. Ever. ever. So she's going to do some research and I'm going to turn my computer monitor back on. And how about we get into the scores? How about that? Because we do score these things for all you first time viewers out there. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Cool. I gave it an 8.11. Ooh, it's high. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it wasn't terrible. It was just, it was all right. No, no, no. It, it wasn't like terrible. It's just my, my hero itself is, 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 is bad. This movie just kind of stayed par for the course with the anime. So if you like the anime, you will like the movie. Yeah. So my score was a 7.66. That's not that much lower. No. Yours is like a kind of a, a high C. Mine's a low B. Yeah. So. 9.57. 9.99. No, but I gave it a nine. Oh, my goodness. And so here's where, and but because my problems were different than yours. And so, and, and maybe you say, like you say, it's a disconnect, but I don't even think it's a disconnect. I'm biased because I think that. His, it's ingrained in your mind no. that you don't like it. No, and if you don't because, like something, because even you if keep, you watch the next episode, no. you don't like. Prime example. Well, let's go through Super. Okay. You guys watched it, but I almost felt like it was an ex, an excruciating watch it after was. certain after certain things happened. It was, and then by that time, even if you got to the end and the end was was cool, it wasn't. Because you've watched no. so much of it that no. you didn't like. No, no, no. And so, no. That, my thing is, no, because what you're saying is wrong. Let me tell you why. It's let wrong? T- let me tell you why. Let me tell you why it's wrong. Okay, come Trump. Because facts. Dragon Ball Super, if Dragon Ball was Super was so bad throughout the main part of the series, which it was, then anything just slightly decent at the end would have been like really, really, really good. We have this talk all the time about people at work at our real jobs. How... <laughs> They screw up, screw up, screw up, screw up. Right, and, and they once do the they, smallest thing. Now they do the smallest thing, and they do it well, and it's like, oh my god, look at look at what Terrence did today, and it's like, I don't, that, I don't really work with them, so. But but yeah yeah he don't he don't work <laughs> with us. I, I want y'all to know I don't yeah, really work. I'm with just them. using his name as an example because he's sitting right there. But look at what Terrence did today. He came to work on time. Oh my god, this is great, and it's like it's not really great. Like this, this is just par for the like. This is average work at best from this person. But since they let you down so much, it the, looks like a big deal. Yeah. That's not what happened with Super. Like at the end, the end was not cool. Like it, there, there was nothing that was good that happened. It was all stupid and silly and just re reimagined versions of older stories that they've told over and over and over. Miss me with all that. So I feel like it would have the opposite effect. If if what you're saying is true, it, I feel like it would have had the opposite effect. It would have been like so ten times Kaioken versus. We have talked about this, and and I mean, if people go back and they and they listen to, Ooh, look at him getting them plugs in. Right, go back hey, and listen to the old podcast. I like it. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So if you did, you would hear that my hero never started off good in his eyes at all. Well, it was never good. No, it has to give actually, me. It has to give me some good episode. For, so, for example, because I think I talked about this with Mike B. So I will tell you again. 
Attack on Titan. I'm I'm liking it, mm. right? I went back and I started watching Neon Genesis just to make sure that I'm not crazy. Like the stuff that I watched and we used to watch is 10 times better than the crap that's out right now. Wanted to make sure that I was not crazy. And I went and I started watching it. I like the sound, the music, the, the art style, the voice actors, the story, the attention to detail. I'm like, this is dope. I'm not crazy. And so this is this this stuff. I almost cuss. <laughs> the stuff coming out right now is trash. And I said, I watched the. Um, I think it was on Netflix, and I watched the old Neon Genesis. It's dope. And I ain't like it. Oh. I ain't like it. But let me say this, y'all. Okay, for y'all, you two people out there, y'all hear this. He did not like Neon Genesis. Well, hold on. Well, hold on. Let me say this. What I didn't like going back and watching it. You ain't like Pokemon either. No, listen. I didn't like going back and watching it. Now, when I saw it when I was younger, I did enjoy it. I, um, I'd originally, I didn't understand the ending. And then, you know, they had to make other episodes so you could kind of understand what happened. But mm-hmm. I, maybe it's just that I didn't like going back and watching it at this juncture. I'm not going to say, when I watched it originally, I thought it was cool. <laughs> now, that being said, I don't think we had as much anime when Neon Genesis was out either. Because I think we had uh, Akira and some... Which I loved, but that and I can still but, watch. But Akira. that even kind of proves my point. We wouldn't even have my hero if it wasn't for things like Berserk, Akira, Ghost in the Shell, Ninja Scroll, right? And it had to be top notch for it to even come over here because it, it, the cost was so, right? It this this stuff was great. Now this stuff now is man. Look, I mean, my, one of my favorite, most favorite anime. Two, I have two. Okay. <clears throat> Two animated of my favorites are Samurai Champloo because the soundtrack was awesome because it dealt hip hop yeah. and yeah. jazz. It yeah. was one of the best. Yes. And uh-huh. Cowboy Bebop, which also had a dope soundtrack. Yeah, yeah. Music was dope in both. Those things get me. I won't say that my heroes on that level with soundtrack or whatever, but at the same point, our musical tastes are different than the kids now. So if so, you're saying it's I'm not saying it. I'm just saying it. to kids. No, nope, because I when I went in there, I was like, let me get out of there before I have to hear this this nonsense. He knew he was again. gonna grab that, right? I knew he was whatever I put out there, he was gonna grab onto. Yeah. So, um, I just think those anime were different and they were better. Well, yeah, Samurai Shampoo was like one of the better, best. and it didn't have. I don't even think. And same with uh, the uh, Samurai Shampoo and Cowboy Bebop. Both they were better. And they didn't even go, they didn't even have as many episodes. I right. think they were like maybe, uh, Samurai was two C, two two arcs mm-hmm. and Cowboy Bebop was maybe two and had two movies. Samurai Shampoo didn't even have enough, didn't have a movie and it was still, but it's just something about it. Samurai's and hip hop. The story, the music, the the, the graphics, was, the art style, the whole, package. The, the whole package. That's what I'm saying. This stuff is trash. Anyway, 7.66. I give it nine. Nine. Eight point one one. Eight point one one. Those are our scores. Um, but I will say, again, another PSA. So no matter how much I dislike this movie in the show, I was going to go see it regardless because of what we talked about, like Terrence was talking about on the previous shows. Um, I like anime. It's unfortunate that I have to be subjected to my hero, but <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad there's some kind of anime being released in my local theater. Yeah. So if you want more anime, you got to go out. You got to go out and support it. Yeah. So regardless if you like My Hero or not, go out and see this movie. If it's still in theaters once this drops. If it's not, links down in the description, pre-order the DVD on Amazon. Yeah, we need, I mean, we need to support an anime over here. I mean, I think this one's pushed more because even like when it first came on, it was a Funimation. <clears throat> and since I watch it on Crunchyroll, I don't even get to, I don't even see Funimation anywhere. And so when the when the, when it came on today it was big funimation fun like they wanted wanted to say funimation brought this here but as you say i still went and saw it in so so mm-hmm. any psas from you no <laughs> i do agree though i mean i do i mean i do think that like, regardless of whether you love this movie or not if you want more of this you need to go out and support it for sure because right. like that weathering with you that we saw oh, like, that was really good so dope I mean, <clears throat> the story was dumb, but the movie was dope. I liked it. I liked the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Did you go see it? No, nah, he ain't supporting. He ain't down. Uh, he ain't down. I had a cost. Or like normal, 
for all y'all who listen. Bay Bay. Who got children. <laughs> take care of your children first and then go see the stuff. Mm. Anyway, y'all ready to wrap up the show? Yeah. Anyway. I think this was a successful first live, not live, still not live, live to tape. I never realized how much I yawned <laughs> until I'm like, oh, okay, sorry, y'all. All right. Um, so anyway, I don't even know how to do my outro now because all I need anybody to do is all I need you to do. I know I've asked a lot over the 100 episodes that we've done. All I need you to do is go to YouTube, search for Aversion TV, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. That's all I need you to do. So let me tell you just a little bit more about Aversion TV while I have your attention. It will host our podcast. It will host our new weekly update and it will host other podcasts as they come along. So you won't just see us all the time. There will be other podcasts there. There might even be a sports one coming up. So you'll see new shows, new faces, new people. Um, and it'll all be under one network, a version TV on YouTube. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for listening to a next game cast. Join us next week where we will have our full kingdoms, of the romance oh, of the three kingdoms 14 the review three kingdoms 14 review all right see you next time trash